Hey guys, am I audible? Guys, I'm audible. Yes, no. Hello. No. So this it's audible. So. It's audible, right? Okay. Okay. Yes, let's start quickly actually. Uh, do you remember yesterday what we have completed or what we have started? We just started with the Jenkins. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So quickly we'll reinstall our Jenkins. I have already logged into my CentOS machine. I have already logged into my CentOS machine, right? And uh, now quickly. Can you tell me, guys, what is the prerequisite to work with your Jenkins? So, if you want to install the Jenkins, what you should have in your machine? Anyone remember? You guys remember what we require to install your Jenkins? Yes, Java we need. We need a Java. Without the Java, we cannot run your Jenkins because Jenkins is purely a Java based application, right? So let me show you the, okay. And you can see about the Jenkins. Jenkins.io is the official website. So here you can get to know that Jenkins is a build great thing at any scale. It is the leading open source automation server. Jenkins provides hundreds of plugins to support building, deploying and automating any project. So Jenkins is also an open source tool, but Jenkins, it is running on job on top of a Java platform. Remember, right? if I see some documentation installing the Jenkins, Jenkins is typically run as a standard application in its own process. Jenkins war file bundles, Winstone or JT servlet container wrapper and can be started on any operating system or platform with the version of Java supported by Jenkins. Remember, Java. Jenkins is supporting or Jenkins is running on top of the Java. Then you need a Java in your machine. Then only you can able to install the Jenkins. So for that, let me open quickly a terminal and write Java space. This is to a server, Java space, iPhone, hyphen, hyphen version. If I put this, I'm seeing an error command not found because Java is not available in my CentOS machine. So to install this Java, we have a command, guys. We have a command which is sudo yum install java 11. At least we require the java 11. Open JDK, we are going to install. Let me write the command sudo yum install space hyphen y. I need a java at least 11 hyphen open java development kit. Open JDK. It's a free source. Open JDK. When you press enter, it will start installing your Java in your machine. It will start installing Java in a machine. Now, after a couple of seconds, you will get to know that whether Java is available or not. Yes. Now, if I check Java space, Java space iPhone iPhone version. It is clearly says that Java is available. Java is available in my machine. Let me clear the screens. And after Java, remember what I said. You have to before installing the Jenkins, you need to do two things. One is download the Jenkins repository, import the Jenkins key. So download the Jenkins repository, import the Jenkins key. So we have a command. I already given in this particular template using this command, you can able to download your Jenkins repo. Write this particular command to download the Jenkins repo, right? So press enter. Yes. Now Jenkins repo is available. I'm going to import the key and don't use this particular key. Uh, this command is not working. Let me go with them. The recent changes in the URL. So this is the URL. So you can copy this one. And I can share you this URL also for your 
I will share you this. This is the latest release. In the chat box, you can find it here. And this is the command. This is the command to import the key. URL got changed. Fine. Now, now I can able to install the Jenkins. How to install the Jenkins? We have a command, right? This one. So we can write sudo yum install space iPhone Y. I can write Jenkins. Press enter. Now it will start installing Jenkins in our CentOS machine. So we'll see. Yes, it is completed. Now if I check Jenkins space, iPhone, iPhone version, it will tell me I have a Jenkins in my machine. Now let me start the Jenkins. How to start the Jenkins? Sudo systemctl space start space Jenkins. If you write it, it will start your server. It will start your Jenkins server with help of a start command. We'll wait for a while. It will start your Jenkins server. Right? Can you see here? This document is also says that you can start your Jenkins server. Yes. Let me check the status. It says my Jenkins started. Let me check the status. STAT US status presenter. Can you see here? Jenkins is active now. Jenkins is active now. Jenkins is running right now. Jenkins active now. Jenkins is running now. Now, in order to check this one, whether it is running or not, I need to check it, right? So, how to check it? In default, Jenkins will be running on a port number called 8080. In which port Jenkins will be running? 8080 port number. Let me show. Here. The port number is 8080. It should show 8080 is the port number. It's not showing, but 8080 is the port number. Default port number of your Jenkins. 8080. So what I will do, let me go to my server. And here, I can go to the instances. And this is CentOS machine. Let me copy this public IP address. And I will paste it here and put colon 8080, press enter. And it's not opening. Okay, let me type HTTP colon double slash this one. No, it's not working. So maybe the reason is, you know, 8080 is the port number, right? Where the Jenkins is running. You have to configure the security group for that one. In your EC2 machine, you have to configure the security group. So click on security and click on the security group. Where you have an inbound rule. Let me allow the inbound rule. Click on edit inbound rule. And here we can add the rule. Say this is. This is. This is what is that? HTTP. 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 8080 port number anywhere from the internet. Okay. So let me add this and click on save this rule and go to this. Is it to now? Instance. Let me check the security group got added. Inbound rule. Yes. We have added the 8080 port number. Now let me check. Let me check. Where is that? It is public IP address, paste it, colon, 88. Scrolling, we'll see.
are not required. No need to install the Apache server. One minute. Let me go with the documentation. Is that, is that anything I'm missing? HTTP colon double slash public IP address, which is 8080. It is correct only. Okay. I will go here. And this is what? And I can public IP address. Where is my public IP address? Here we have. This is the public IP address. I can take it and paste it over there. And let me copy this. Go to the engine and paste it over. Sir, tell me, tell me. Ah, uh, eight is no port number. Port number, you know, one word is enough. Sir, eighty could be enough. So again, no, eighty could be enough. Yeah, my number eighty could be enough. No, no, ah, that is enough. You know, sir, no, eighty in the middle. Oh, eighty, eighty could be enough. No, ah, that is enough. No, no, twenty-two. Meaning, one thing, ma. Meaning, one thing. Oh, okay. Meaningless the changes will hmm? One minute, let me stop the screen and we'll check one minute.
It's only five minutes. Uh, can I disconnect and rejoin? Is that okay? Five minutes. Okay. okay. okay.